Hi OpenXML developers, this is Eric White. As developers, we often need to explore OpenXML documents. We need to look at markup as Word generates it or as Excel generates it. And we often want to look at markup that our programs have generated to make sure that the document is generated or modified in the way that we want it. There are three tools that are essential for this. One is the OpenXML Package Editor Power Tool for Visual Studio, which is the subject of this screencast. Another is the OOXML Extension Tool for Chrome. And a third is the OpenXML SDK Productivity Tool. All three are useful and in different ways. Today we'll talk about the OpenXML Package Editor Power Tool. This is a tool that enables you to drag and drop OpenXML documents onto Visual Studio, and then you can examine all of the parts in that OpenXML document. You can examine the relationships between the parts in that document. One small caveat about this tool is it requires the professional version of Visual Studio or greater. In other words, it doesn't work with the free version of Visual Studio because the free version doesn't support extensions. The OpenXML Package Editor Power Tool is an open source project available on GitHub, although in most cases you don't need the source code of this tool. It's great to know that it's there. If you do a search in your favorite search engine, you'll find a link to Visual Studio Gallery.msdn.microsoft.com. And at this link, you can download the binary installer for the OpenXML package editor for Visual Studio. This binary installer works just fine with Visual Studio 2010, 2012, and 2013. One great thing about this being open source is when another version of Visual Studio is released, we'll get the OpenXML Package Editor Power Tool built for that version of Visual Studio in relatively short order. I'm going to use the new docx commandlet that is part of Power Tools for OpenXML to create a test document, and I'm going to tell it to put everything into this one single document so that we have a nice complicated document to take a look at in Visual Studio. I can drag and drop it onto Visual Studio. You can then see this tree view, which allows us to explore through all of the parts and relationships in this document. So for instance, if I want to look at the main document part, I can right click and click open. The OpenXML package editor shows the XML exactly as it exists in that document. And in this case, it doesn't have any formatting, but I can type control Control E, Control D, and my particular key bindings will format that XML. You can find out how to do that here on Format Document, Control E, Control D. The key bindings for Visual Basic are somewhat different. I use this approach of lining up attributes each on their own separate line. In the case of OpenXML, for instance, where we have all of these namespace declarations, it's more convenient to look at the XML where each attribute is each on its own line. The way you do that is you go to the Tools menu, go to Options, Expand Text Editor, Expand XML, and click on Formatting. You can find the option right here align attributes each on a separate line. When looking at the tree view, we see two varieties of nodes here. One variety of node are the actual parts. These are the XML parts and they're denoted by this icon right here. And then there are relationships between parts and these are denoted by these little chain 
icons. If I click on one of those relationships and then press the F4 key, I can find out all kinds of interesting information about that relationship, what its source is, what its target is, the target mode, and the relationship type is right here. You'll notice this link right here that has the little globe or ball and the link. That's an external relationship and those are somewhat different. Those are relationships to something outside of the document. If I click on that, I can find out more information about that external relationship. If you have questions about relationships, both internal and external, and relationship types and content types, take a look at the screencasts on open packaging conventions in this screencast series. The functionality of the open XML package editor is somewhat similar to the OOXML tool extension for Chrome in that you can open up a package and you can look at all the parts inside of that package. A couple of key differences. One is that if you see a particular relationship and want to go to that part, you can just double click on that relationship and it will navigate automatically to the related part. And that's pretty convenient. Another thing is that you can import and export parts fairly easily and you can add new parts to a package fairly easily. Sometimes a question comes up, you're looking at markup inside document.xml and you see a reference to a particular relationship. It might be RID 10 or what have you. And you want to know which is the relationship of all of these relationships down here that has RID 10. Well, if you're looking at the properties window, you can use the up and down arrow and you can go up and down until you find the particular relationship that has RID 10 for its relationship ID. It's a little bit cumbersome to do it like this and this is where the OOXML extension tool for Chrome comes in. It's it's easier to find a specific relationship with a relationship ID using the OOXML tool for Chrome than it is with the OpenXML package editor power tool for Visual Studio. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. Thanks for watching.